Hi, my name is Ted. Today I'm going to show you how to enter a birthday formula in Excel. Uh, and this is going to be useful in showing you a number of things you can do with, with date formats and date formulas in Excel. Um, it's a little, a little time consuming to uh, create the formula that I'm going to show you, so I've already, I've already built it into an Excel spreadsheet, which I'm showing you here. Uh, what we have are um, some several people and their birthdays, the, the day they were born on. And then I've got a column here where I'm going to do a test to see if it's their birthday today. So the test is going to compare the month and day of their, the day they were born and today's date. Um, actually, this should, call, uh, this should be the day of birth, including the year. Okay, and uh, the first thing I'm going to do, I, th this is the way the formats were entered in when I entered it in. It's the default birthday format in Excel. I'm just going to change the format, and this I hope is useful because we're, you know, we're learning about dates here. I'm going to go to the Format menu, Format Cells, and um, we go to Number, and we go to Date, and uh, let's, let's find a... Uh, you know, this is supposed to be fun, so let's find a format that's a little more interesting looking. So, you know, written out longhand like that. And uh, there we go. So there, there are the actual dates. And um, this cell down here, B10, is a formula called today. It's equals today and then two parentheses. It's, it's a function that has no, uh, no arguments. It, it, just, it just stands by itself, but every function in Excel needs to have parentheses. So it's just today and an open parenthesis and a closed parenthesis. And sure enough, today happens to be the day I'm doing this, March 9th, 2013. And then each of the other dates is up here. They're, they're just entered in. They're not formulas. Over here in cell C2 is the formula that I created. And it, it illustrates a, a couple of different things. And let me, let me just walk you through the formula. It's, it's got some if statements, and it says if, and then I've got an and statement because I want the month test to pass, and I want the day test to pass. So I'm testing whether the, the month corresponding to the first person's date of birth is equal to today's month, and then I'm testing whether the day is the same for this person as today's date. If both of those tests pass, so we got month, B2, so this is a date formula, month, open parentheses, and then the, the cell. So the month there returns August. The month down here returns March. Well, they don't match. And the day is the 7th. Today's day is the 9th. They don't match. If they pass, then the formula is going to display birthday. And if not, it's going to say not today. So to test the formula out, We've got a sixth person here who I call Lucky, and let's just type in a date that we know is going to make today that person's birthday. So let's type in March, so 3, slash 9, slash, and just pick a year, 1963. And sure enough, it's that person's birthday today. So, um, you know, I, I hope these, at least this has been help, useful for you in, in learning about a couple of different date formulas and just some basics of how to use ifs and ands in, in Excel, and I hope it's been a little fun at the same time. So thank you for watching. I'm Ted, and today I've shown you how to do a birthday formula in Excel.